small when it's like next to my face like this and it's quite big actually hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to my latest what's in my handbag can i just say how much i love this jacket by the way look at all that fringing so today i'm going to be talking about what's in my gucci soho small disco bag um doesn't look so small when it's like next to my face like this and it's quite big actually here's the bag I love this bag and lots of you asked for what's in my handbag when you saw it on my Instagram. So yeah, I just think this is the perfect size for like an everyday bag. It fits all my stuff in. So like for my everyday when I'm going to work, I kind of need to fit in like extra phone chargers and just diaries and just general mum crap that you need to fit in your handbag. But for like an everyday bag, so this is like my everyday bag on the weekend, um, in the holidays, basically when I'm not going to work, I use this because it's got a nice long strap so it just hangs off my shoulder. You can't kind of drape it over your arm because it hasn't got the shortest strap. But I just like that. I like the fact that it's just easy to use. It's like a soft leather, but like hard wearing leather and it's just like a perfect size, fits everything that I need in. Hasn't got any extra pockets on the outside, but it's got the nice logo embossed, um, but it's like not too in your face. I love this little fringy detail and the gold metallic finishing. So should we go inside? It is, the bag itself is not heavy at all, but my bag is because I've stuffed a lot in here. So first things first, my phone is rose gold marble phone case, which I love, and it's from Amazon. Coming inside next, my keys. Um, we've got this Mark Jacobs keyring, which I've had for years. You've probably seen it on other What's In My Handbag videos. Um, my car keys, keys for the flat, keys for my mum's house. Um, my fob, to so get in and out of my flat as well. Packet of tissues, because you always need tissues. Wet wipes, because I'm a mum. My purse, which is my Prada purse, which I absolutely love. You know this is my colour, like a nude blush pink colour. Love this. I actually got this from Bista. Um, and, oh my god, I love this purse. So inside here, I just have um, my driving licence, Tesco card, my discount card for work, three bank cards, lots of vouchers, Boots Advantage card, you know, just all the normal stuff that you just carry around with you because you carry stuff around with you. Vouchers, coins, like money, five pounds. Woohoo! Don't spend it all at once. So that's one thing I really do love about this bag is the fact that I don't have to take like a smaller, as in every kind of day bag, I can just fit my normal sized purse into this. I don't have to transfer it into one of those little coin purses or anything like that because when I'm out and about, especially on the weekends and stuff with my little one shopping and all that kind of stuff, I need like my Tesco club card and my Boots Advantage card and like gift vouchers and gift cards and stuff that I may have. Not like a going out bag, it's like big enough to fit in like my bigger bulkier things and my purse is probably like my, my bulkiest item that I need to fit in. Then I have chewing gum. I have my EpiPen because I have a nut allergy and again um, in a lot of like my going out bags uh, this is a bit too bulky and just doesn't fit but this kind of fits everything in nicely. Traveli for my perfume and this one is to enroll bomb bomb love for this one so that's my perfume. I have my pressed powder my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish pressed powder which I love. So that's in there just to kind of touch up if I need to. And then the little side pocket, so when you open it, it's like that. So I have a side pocket there, which has got some bits in it. And then I have another little side pocket there, which I think is for my phone. I don't, don't know if my phone fits in there though. That is, why do I never do this? Like if, look, it literally just fits my phone here and I can close the zip. I don't know why I never put my phone in that bit. I will from now on. And this little bit here, in there, I just keep my lipstick. So that's my Bobbi Brown art stick um, in dusty pink, which I love. So this is like my on-the-go lipstick I just keep. And I keep it in the small pouch because just in case for any reason the lid comes off, I do not want lipstick all over the lining in here. So I just keep it in there. And then I keep a little brush for my pressed powder. And I've got a nice little cover. So this is the little Real Techniques, like, travel, like the mini sculpting brush but I just a nice like a powder brush so I keep this little cover with it um so you don't get powdery all over your bag but again um just in case I just keep it in a little pouch so only the little pouch gets a bit mucky run on the whole bag and then I have some antihistamines for my natural allergies such a geek 
that's it that's the bag empty so um the lining i do love of this bag because it's like a nice kind of like quite hard wearing canvas so it's a good everyday bag but it's just such a nice size now this bag is literally like so light i can just chuck it up hold it with like one finger if it balanced comment below tell me if you like this bag if you're thinking about getting this bag i definitely think that is such a great investment i love it literally love it it looks so chic it's really nice with like work outfits it can be like casual when you want it to be casual it can be kind of like more elegant and sophisticated and more dressed up when you need it to be dressed up it can be a going out bag if you need it to but it can also be like you know taking the kids to the park bag yes i love it so um yeah don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter and snapchat i will see you guys very very soon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye guys